No, no, here's the trailer. Like a dark hallway. A, a light bulb goes on. Yeah. Camera dollies past the door. Ah. Door closes. Someone goes. Oliver, where are you? Show a house. The inside. Block text. Yeah. That's it. Turns out someone's living in the walls. What? Oh my God! Boom. $48 million from a $1.2 million budget. Uh, and, and, and it's not even teenagers anymore like that go, in, that go into the creepy house. Now it's some kind of like, um, you know, it's a lady and her son. Sure. And the neighbor knocks on the door. The red herring. His name's Red Herring. <laughs> uh, my name's Mr. Herring, Red. Do you and your boy need any help with any yard work? No, Mr. Herring, we're fine. Okay. That Mr. Herring's always staring at us from, from, from the yard. He's just looking in our windows all the time. Night cut to nighttime, sleeping. Maybe throw in a dream sequence. Oh, you gotta throw in a dream sequence. Dream sequence. Yeah. Well, someone's in your room. It's Mr. Herring. Oh, I woke up. Yeah. Next night. Oh, boring scenes where you gotta take the kid to school. It mean nothing. Next night. Sounds. Get up. <laughs> Nothing's there. Next night. <laughs> Next day, I gotta go to school with the kid. Right. Mr. Herring is, is he's the cross guard. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Herring. A uh, dream sequence at night. <laughs> more intense one, slightly more intense you one. You have to have it up, up the ante a little bit so it gives the illusion that something's happening in the movie. Right, right yes, yes. Sure. So next, next night, mom's awake with a glass of wine, kid's in bed. She hears noises upstairs, runs upstairs, opens the door. Kids sleep just fine. Shadow goes behind her. Front door open. Oh my God, the front door is open. Someone was in the house. Run outside. I have had enough of this. Knock on the door. Mr. Herring's house. Some lady opens the door. What, what do you want? I'm looking for Red Herring. He was just in my fucking house. Red's out of town. Snap zoom. I was gonna say, alternately you have, she goes over there and she finds that he's dead. And that's when you start up in the ante. Sure. Sure. We have options. I, d I guess it depends on what point of the movie we're at. Are oh, we at sure. the middle point, or are we? is this the end of the third act? This sounds like the third okay. act. Red's dead. This is approximately 65 minutes into the movie. Red, Red has gone to the hospital. He had a heart attack. She oh, goes okay. There. He's in the hospital. Because um, maybe he'll come back at the end and save the day. Oh, okay. Why not? <laughs> um, uh, he, he went into the hospital two days ago with a massive heart attack. Then she goes to the hospital and she's staring at him and then, you know, maybe something else creepy happens, I don't know. But then she goes home. Something in the parking lot of the, the hospital. Parking lot of the hospital, yeah. That's good. It's in the parking lot, it's creepy, the lights are flickery yes. and the fluorescent lights. And she thinks she sees someone behind the car. And then she goes and looks behind the car and there's no one there. To, to, um, to, to continue with the, the paranormal um, message or yeah. the paranormal uh, uh, ruse of the film. And then she gets home and she discovers her trunk was open. Boy in the walls jumped in the trunk, <laughs> went with her to the hospital to scare her in the parking lot. Okay. Then, of course, in the end, uh, boy in the wall. There's a boy <laughs> in the wall! Or a man in the wall. They'll give him some dumb backstory. No, matter. Jay, let's spice it up. Let's okay. really shake up this, this, this film series. <laughs> Old lady in the wall! What? What? Old it's the old owner of the house, maybe? She didn't want to move out? The grandpa died, yeah. and old lady didn't want to move out. So she's in the walls with grandpa's bones. There you go. Well, that could, okay, maybe early on can be when they, the bones fall out of the wall. She's having work done in the house, and that's grandma's motivation to start doing these evil things. Yes. Because you, you, you uh, destroyed my husband's bones. Yes, she was all right just living in the walls, eating mice, and, uh, <laughs> right, you know, but she looks all nasty and scary. And, yeah. And, and in the end, you gotta hit old old Grandma McGee in the head with a cast iron frying pan, <laughs> which knocks her out temporarily, even though she's 86. She gets back up and goes, yeah! and, she, <laughs> and she kills Red Herring. Okay. And when he's like, is everything all right? I just got back from the yeah! So he has the Scatman Crothers scene from The Shining, where he walks in and just immediately gets an ax in the chest. Right, right. All right. Okay. 